Howdy folks, Mildfire here. Uh, I wanted to bring you a series on my kind of tips and tricks, um, how I see it in the early game. Uh, I want to kind of elaborate that this is going to be an ongoing series. I will continue on into a mid game, end game. Um, I'm trying to focus on specific guns, how and when to use them, that kind of stuff. So thanks for all the support I've gotten so far. Uh, I appreciate every single like, subscribe, uh, comment that I get. It's amazing. I love it. So um, please feel free, drop that subscribe, uh, leave a comment below on what you think and what you want to see in the future. So with that said, let's get into it. So step one, uh, look around. It's very important that you know all of your surroundings wherever you're dropping, uh, whether that be military base, hacienda, picado, um, gadka even. So look around what's going on uh where are people dropping how many people have left out of the plane this is all very important information as you're going into your first fight so we're dropping here at the military base this is a favorite spot of mine when i come here um, i do look over and here you have a fellow dropping at the building close to closest to me um, so I analyze that. I go, okay, it's time to get a gun. Let's get on him and apply some pre uh, some pressure as quickly as possible. Um, and that's exactly what we do here. So I can make an adequate assumption that he doesn't have that great of loot. He's only been on the ground as long as I have. He could have an AR, um, maybe something like a submachine gun, but it's it's worth taking the fight to clear. Um, so we do come up, get a nice down on this guy. His buddy is in on us, so we are in a, a 1v1 situation now. Um, it is shotgun v shotgun. Uh, I potato that shot right there. What was I thinking? Um, I it's all about erratic movements so he really was expecting me to probably um, go to uh, my left his right um, that's where he aimed his shotgun uh, we did a weird kind of jump thing and uh, won the fight so now we're focusing on grabbing the loot that is going to help us get that next kill so that leads into step two uh, only the necessities. So there's nothing worse than being caught out in the open while you're uh, trying to either loot somebody that you just killed or grabbing something that you may not have needed for this next fight. Um, so kind of stick to the necessities here. Uh, analyze what you have for loot right now. Um, right now we have a 4X with an M16, so I know I can take a little bit more uh, long-range fights, which, which is going to help us in the long run move across the military base because there's a lot of open space here specifically so that's going back to step one analyze your surroundings right now we're in a kind of an open field that we have to cross um, to get to the next group of guys that we saw that were um, heading more towards the C buildings and over in that general area step three um, so moving slash knowing your line of sight so we've put a team down uh, we know that nobody is in our direct vicinity we're not in any direct danger but we do have to move we have to keep looting um, I have no helmet uh, my good friend BR Jones also um, is not very well looted at the moment we've only had the opportunity to hit um, a couple of these buildings out here we do want a little bit more equipment so it's very important that while we strategize towards making a push on C buildings where we know that players are most likely located at the moment um, we, we do it in the smartest way possible so we ultimately decided to back up a little bit, check a couple more buildings, and then run along uh, this catwalk kind of area here. That catwalk gave us a, a good opportunity to move up. Um, we were checking it out to make sure that nobody was up top, but we have to figure that there are guys at the C buildings. That catwalk is great cover from the C buildings, so we start making our way up to start analyzing what's, what's still happening at the C buildings. This is a perfect time for step four, uh, get to high ground. It's very important to go ahead and get above somebody. Uh, it's a lot easier to shoot down than to shoot up. So it automatically puts you at an advantage when faced with uh, this next fight. So my good friend BR Jones actually had already moved up the catwalk here. I was moving up behind him just so we can try to look down on these buildings, get a better, more accurate representation of what's going on over there at the moment. Um, we start moving our way down, and I believe we start spotting people. Guys, guys, look at us. Tagged him once right at the edge of this right, right zone. I think he's up on the roof, maybe? No, one's definitely below. Yeah, one's definitely below, but I like I don't know where the other guy is. Oh, I'm down. Shit. 
Yeah, I smacked him a couple times with the mini though. Why you peek? Yeah. Okay, here they're, they're moving out left here. I'm just gonna drop down. Yeah, I hear you. Tagged him a couple times. Yeah, this other guy. Knocked one. That's where are they? Oh, yeah, the, sec the second guy's on the left C building. The other one's on the right of this of that very left C building on the stone wall. Did you down? Uh, the one on the oh, right. The one on the right. I hit him twice. He, can killed, he pick killed my down guy. Killed my down guy. Where's the other one? Like right at the stone wall. 95 of me at, at the C build. Okay. At the middle C building? Mm -hmm. Oh, how the fuck did he get over there? I might have jumped inside. The homeboy I killed had a car. How much five six you got? Uh, 63 total. Okay, I got 25 shots. It's like I want to move up here, but it's like, what the fuck do we do? Really? Oh shit, I? Oh, Here, I'm gonna try to move left. Yeah, I'm building something. Let's see if I can. Oh, let's quick drop row. Victor, there's no sake. Oh! oh. Shoot me from the left. Oh. Left of the sea, but okay, this is another team then. Yeah, okay. I wanted to interject here with step five. Was it worth it? This is more of a weighing a risk versus reward kind of aspect. VR Jones made an excellent call out right there that we needed to go ahead and move back. There's two separate teams. Granted, one one guy is a solo at this point, but we don't know where he is at the moment. We got a team shooting at us from the left that have a prime spot on us to, to go ahead and put us out of this game. Um, so we, we take a step back. Reevaluate the situation. It wasn't worth going ahead and moving up, uh, just getting kind of gunned down while we were out in the open. So we take a step back and we, we practice a little bit of patience here. To the very left of this building here. Excuse me. Ow. Where the fuck is. I can't see him where he is. I think he was. Oh, okay, I see him. He's on the stone stone wall, stone wall oh, yeah, in between the two buildings. He, he uh, he, now he's going. He's on the back side. Of, like an around. We could go inside. We are fucking laser focused on this dude. So as a predator kind of stalks his prey, there we get the kill. Um, that patience paid off. Uh, what you know, generally in this game, um, the person who's willing to be more patient in any given situation is ultimately going to win the fight. I've experienced that in quite a few games. I have like 800 hours played, so uh, I've just kind of learned to take a step back. Um, you know, just just wait. And uh, more, more than more likely than not, somebody's going to put themselves at a position um, for you to just come get an easy kill on them, and that's what that was. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, I'd love to continue on with this series, going into the mid-game stuff, end-game stuff, some more of my tips and tricks. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not the best player in the world, but I'm okay. Uh, I'd like to share some of my, you know, how I, how I've seen this game, how I've been able to get some of the wins that I've gotten. Um, and, and share it with y'all, share it with the community. So please feel free to leave a comment below what you think, uh, what are you interested in, in seeing, uh, whether it be certain guns that you're interested in seeing me play with, um, what do you need a little bit of help with. I, I'd love to help out in any way that I can. So please feel free to, to, to subscribe for future content. Drop a comment, drop a like, please share with your friends really does go a long way in growing the channel a single subscriber to me it, it means more than the world uh, so with all that said until next time